Good afternoon, CVC family. We are delighted to be back in Philadelphia. We missed you last Sunday. We are looking forward to worshiping with you this Sunday. We're continuing looking at the priorities and values of Crescent Valley Church. Two weeks ago, we saw that our church is to be Christ-centered and grace-focused. To be Christ-centered requires being grace-focused because it's all about him and not about us. Last week, Jonathan spoke about deep spirituality and prayer, something that we want to characterize our lives. This week, I'll be speaking on fellowship. And it's a very important concept because we really don't understand what fellowship is. So I'll be speaking about the need of fellowship, defining fellowship, and then speaking about the unique characteristics of Christian fellowship. I'll be speaking about that it's based in truth, uh, the extent of fellowship, the priority of Christian fellowship, and the exclusiveness of Christian fellowship. So uh, please come prepared to pray and think about uh, these, this issue. We'll be singing the hymn 55, To God Be the Glory, and then uh, hymn 616, Leaning on the Everlasting Arms, and for our final hymn, we'll be singing 359, Blessed Be the Tides That Bind. And uh, this talks about the deep relationships we are to have in the church. Our meditation for this Sunday, I want to read to you. It's from Ray Stedman, who wrote a book called Body Life back in the 70s that was very popular. And this is what he says. It goes against the grain to give an image of oneself that is anything but less than perfect. And many Christians imagine that they will be rejected by others if they admit to any fault. But nothing could be more destructive to Christian fellowship than the common practice today of pretending that we have no problems. We'll be called to worship by Psalm 113. And then I want you to think about the confession of sin. Let me read it to you. God of grace and truth, in Christ Jesus you came among us to be light shining in the darkness. We confess that we have not welcomed the light or trusted good news to be good. We have closed our eyes to the glory in our midst, expecting little and hoping for less. Forgive our lack of faith and renew our hope so that we might receive the fullness of grace and live in the truth of Jesus Christ to our Lord in whose name we pray, amen. I also want to remind you that this Sunday, the mass mandate has been dropped for Philadelphia and Springside Chestnut Hill Academy. So you are free to wear or not wear masks. Whatever you feel most comfortable, we're comfortable with as well. Uh, we also are baptizing the park's child. So uh, there'll be uh, some refreshments after church to celebrate that event with them. We're looking forward to seeing you this Sunday. Please come prepare yourself for worship. You'll find the bulletin attached to uh, this email. God bless and see you Sunday.